This presentation is part of a series for trainers and incoming solar installers. It runs for about five minutes and is intended as a general overview and pausing and rewatching is encouraged. This particular presentation is on the CEC guidelines and the installer demerit point scheme. The Clean Energy Council has developed design and install guidelines for grid connected solar systems. These documents can be freely downloaded via the solaraccreditation.com.au website. All accredited persons are required to follow these guidelines. The content of the guidelines is primarily comprised of the specific clauses and wording from Australian standards relevant to installing solar, such as AS3000, AS5033, etc. It's also based on the feedback and advice from electrical safety regulators and the clean energy regulator. The guidelines provide some examples of how to comply with existing standard clauses. They also contain some requirements above and beyond the standards to ensure industry best practice. Accredited persons can view a webinar on the guidelines in the installer area of the website. This webinar discusses some of the most important and relevant points of the guidelines. These guidelines do not constitute a definitive set of rules, but rather are to be used in conjunction with relevant standards, building codes, electrical distributor requirements, etc. If you become a CEC accredited installer, you sign terms and conditions agreeing to install systems in accordance with the guidelines. Additionally, small scale technology certificates cannot be created unless these guidelines are adhered to. Remember, an accredited person still needs to follow existing relevant Australian standards, including AS5833 installation and safety requirements for PV arrays, which is central to an installer's compliance and technical requirements. To maintain industry integrity, the Clean Energy Regulator performs random installation audits on systems that have claimed small-scale technology certificates or STCs. Where issues of non-compliance are found, the CER provides audit reports to the Clean Energy Council, who then assign demerit points to installers. Where the Clean Energy Regulator performs installation audits, they will categorise issues of non-compliance based on the level of severity. In this example of non-compliance, the installer has failed to enclose DC cable in HD conduit. As such, this electrical work is deemed as substandard and the audit report will include the nature of the issue and the relevant clauses that must be adhered to. At worst, where issues of non-compliance are found, the installer may be required to rectify work, may lose their accreditation, may be required to prove competency, the state electrical regulator may be advised. Overall, this scheme is designed to maintain industry and installer integrity and provide a level of oversight for the small scale technology or STC scheme. Finally, all accredited persons can view their accrued demerit points anytime by logging onto their CEC accredited installer portal. Thank you for listening. As always, if you have any questions, you can email or call the CEC on the details on the screen.